2021! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm not sure why I decided to start the vlog right now. I'm in my downstairs bathroom and the reason why I wanted to start the vlog is because the, I think one of the last vlog or the vlog before was telling you guys that these pajamas from Target, men I like them because they crush like cotton all the time. This is the pajama and I have three sets of them. I think it's stars, stars and stripe, stars and something. Can you see better? Probably can't see better, I don't know. It's always crushed. I mean, I'm in the mood for iron hire nothing. Today's Labor Day. I had a great day today. Happy Labor Day to everyone. I washed this hair today. I'm bit, listen, I have to take this out. I don't even think this has been in my hair for three weeks and I'm really upset. I think it's the type of hair that I use. I love the idea of it, but it is just raveling out and it just stay back. Especially when I put it up in a bun because I love to put it up in a high bun, especially when I'm working. <clears throat> Sorry, but i still kind of have one cool we went to tanger outlet if you live in michigan have you ever been to tanger outlet let me know i have never been to tanger outlet i ended up going there today let me tell you how i stumbled up on this store called something warehouse hold on let me get this the receipt because i want to tell you guys about this store is called the cosmetics company store i have never ever heard of this store they sell different cosmetic stuff they had mac in there estee lauder the origin other things those are just the ones that i can think of the top of my head because i use th these brands the price the price was amazing i found this night repair oil this thing is 200 dollars. i got it for 40 dollars the origin charcoal mask i use that i even have one upstairs that is almost finished a two pack for nine dollars i was asking the lady at the cashier i said are these the real products are they expired like why are they this price she said well estee lauder owns you know those shops and Places like Sephora, Ulta, and places like that buy from them and they have to sell it at an upcharge or whatever. May I forgot to take the drive to Owell to that place to buy these things. I couldn't believe it. So find one of these stores by you. It's called the Cosmetics Company Store. But if you live in Michigan, take the drive, please, and go Tanger Outlet in Howell. But the lady did say, my arms are hurt me, hold on. The lady did say that the prices are not always that low. I think it's because of the Labor Day weekend as well. They had extra percentage of, um, I only bought those because I only buy skincare that I have used in the past and they work for me because honestly, my, my, my skin tend to, yeah. I was supposed to start a vlog this morning and vlog, but I, I wasn't really in the mood. We went shopping um, as a family, then we went out to eat, came back. We're gonna wind down so that tomorrow's starting of school and things like that. But this is the start of the vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. now 10 11 minutes after 10 and let me put this groceries away take a shower because i gotta go pick this kid up at 11 30. oh i'm tired let me tell you guys how i just realized i have the wrong date on this thing because september is not the eighth month and tell me i just notice it i sat in my car and i was gonna send the pictures to my mother and i was like oh my god girl what are you doing <laughs> my son is gonna be annoyed because i need him to retake the photos when he comes home 
because I need to upgrade. I need to fix this. I need to put a nine. Jeez Louise. How did I, hmm, how did I mess that up? I'm gonna, he's gonna have to redo it for me. It's, why is it so dark in here? Is this, that's the brightest. Let me turn my other light on. I did it early this morning because I forgot. Not gonna lie, I low key forgot that I was supposed to do this yesterday before I went to bed. Anyway, let me take out these groceries and, um, oh, let me ask you guys a question. One of my coworkers told me the other day that um, everything that's in Aldi is grown in a lab. I don't know what I was talking about. I was going to Aldi to go get my fruits to juice. So she goes, you're buying your fruits and stuff from Aldi because you know they're all genetically grown in a lab. It's, the food is fake. Who ever hear that before? So the food of Aldi fake? I said, no ma'am, I have never heard that before. So then I asked her, where did you hear that from? TikTok. Girl, what? Not saying everything on TikTok is a lie. I don't personally, I've never been on the, the app. But, now come with me with that. I say TikTok I get it from. I mean, I don't know. Do your own research. Because I've been kind of trying to research it since she said it to me. But let me know. Did you Have you guys heard that? Because I have never heard that before. Boy, if it's fake, I just have to go to spirit over it and just, I don't know. Because I think I'm still going to go there and shop. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's unpack the grocery, go take a shower, and get ready to go pick up the kid and go to brunch. I have an hour, give or take. All right. What is up, you guys? I just went and got my nails done, and I got fall colors because... It's time. It's time for some dark colored nails. I'm ready. I'm here for fall. It's 6.30 and I took Xander to have brunch. Went home, juiced, made dinner, and then um, managed to come get my nails up. Come get a much needed manicure pedicure because I really needed it. Hold on. I'm about to run to Target. I was gonna go home and walk to Target, but honestly, I'm not in the mood. I'm really not in the mood for all of that. I actually have my return in my car just in case. I thought I would wasn't gonna be in the mood to do it. And true to how me no Omega feel, me in the mood for good do the walking right now. I want to go on beard and chill for the rest of the evening because i'm working for the next two days i'm just need to get my mind together you know you have to get your mind together to go back into work after you've been off a couple of days or so how about i was at home when i was cooking i was watching binge watching my crazy ex work no worst ex ever Woo! on netflix listen me no know old people so wicked jeez i don't <sighs> I don't want to give no spoiler if you're gonna watch it but no sir then people are too wicked people cannot be so wicked and vindictive men don't want to want tell them what men don't want to tell them because it was horrible it was absolutely horrible all of them so go and go watch it on netflix worst ex ever yes i want to call it my crazy ex but no but it's worst ex ever so sad Anywho, let's run into Target and go home. Call it a day. Good morning. Happy Friday. It is 9.17 and I just worked out. I'm proud of myself. I kind of like the fact that my son's school starts an hour earlier than his last school because... I feel a little bit more productive when you wake up. And we all, me not in a lie, I'm very lazy. Trust and believe. Uh, I am the laziest responsible person I know. <laughs> Is that even the thing that I want to say? Me very lazy. Me not, me not in a lie. I would sleep all day. I know certain things have to be done, so I can't do that. 
my conscience not going to allow me to do it. But, yeah, wake up, dropped him off at school, made breakfast, all the jazz. I was supposed to make him a sandwich this morning. How about that two-piece of bread back made it off? Made it off his crown, dropped something else for the kid for, for lunch. I'm like, it's Friday. It is Friday. I am off this the entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yay for me. I worked... What would we just have? Yesterday was Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday. Yesterday I saw almost 30 patients. I had lovely patients yesterday though, even though it was busy. You know, when you get nice, respectable Jamaica, that's a nice, clean. One of oh this new saying now, when we just a ear about, about demure. What is this? <laughs> when you have nice, demure patients, it makes the day go great. So I had a, it, it was it was busy, but it was, it was fine. But today, I want to start decorating for fall this weekend, but I need to go to the mall. I need to return a bunch of things that, I, guys, I'm going to move this camera because I feel like I'm turning and twisting my body. I'm going to like when I turn and twist my body like that. I like to talk. Right, so I bought some stuff from Zara um, the other day. Why? A Wednesday night? I mean, I'm in bed. And it was 11, after 11 p.m. at night. I'm here. My phone you know ding and i looked at my phone and it's my camera saying somebody is at your door i said why is somebody at my door at almost 11 something at night so me know mr o'neill my husband wasn't sleeping either i don't think i think he was just going to bed because we were just about to go to bed we kind of had a late night watching tv downstairs mr o'neill o'neill why is somebody there at the door? And then there's the car now park up in front of my driveway. So only I look on it, so they know me I get up here. No, no, so where you are go. <laughs> I said, what is this? Then we get one at a ping. I got another ping on my phone talking about Zara. Your package has just been delivered. Ma Excuse me? Why are we delivering packages at 11.30 at night? I want it was a random car. Like, is this what Zara do? No, I mean, I like that. Because I'm telling you, that thing scared. I was afraid. So they know the car was sitting out there for at least five minutes. When when I look back on the camera, I saw I see the package on the porch. So the car was still sitting out there. I may say, I wonder if they're gonna just come back and take up the package. But you know, they didn't take their little picture. They say, oh yeah, I dropped it off. So the car was sitting there with the bright light still on for the car. O'Neill, of course, went downstairs. After like, I swear, five minutes, the person drove off. And then O'Neill opened the door and took up the package. Zara, please, please stop. No, do not, please. Why are you delivering package at... Huh? No, I never liked that at all. I did not like that. I thought that was so ridiculous. I never realized that's the camera, right? Let me just turn it on. I'm about to go to Meyer real quick, pick up a few things, go home, shower, and go about my business. My low key can't drive, you know? I'm telling her right now, my low key cannot drive. I'm have a well backup camera. I mean, if I start using it. So you know, God save me every day my company I rode here. I'm not telling a lie. I want to get some mums and I want a color like this. I wonder if I should get this now. For 69. I am ready for the day. Uh, listen, it is fall colors because why not? I am about to run and return some stuff. Nordstrom Rack. I bought a couple of stuff from Nordstrom Racks and and it's given no so i'm gonna carry them back right now i was gonna go to zara but i'm not in the mood to drive that 50 minute drive to go to zara so we'll do that next week and tomorrow i'm deep cleaning my kitchen and starting putting up my fall stuff so i'm just gonna make some moves around the cut meaning not too far from my house i'm about to make a little protein smoothie dough just with one banana some oats this time around with my weight loss and i am mindfully trying not to restrict myself if i do keto right now 20 pound quickly because i've done keto multiple times and yes quickly 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 but keto is not something that i am willing to sustain forever because planting mm, yeah rice and peas yeah regular rice me can't manage that 
so <laughs> i have decided consciously girl moderately eat make sure you increase your protein and eat your carbs me can't bother. I mean, i'm not even gonna bother with the problem about low carb to it listen when i did keto i was legitimately eating 18 grams of carbs per day 18 that's it i made it i was so obsessive with it oh no i can't eat that mm -mm, mm -mm. We don't have time for that. I'm trying to get healthy and everything like that, but slow and steady wins the race with proper nourishing nutrients and whole foods. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just buy some green plant in a while ago. Let show now. What? I just bought these. I'm gonna fry these up. I love a green planting. Went in our summer rack, did my little return, and used the money to buy something else. <coughs> Ended up going to Home Goods, and I look super shiny. That's better. Blocked. Went to Home Goods and found two paintings to put in my family room over my couch. I've been searching for something for years now. I can't. <coughs> everything that i saw that i liked was super expensive and i wasn't trying to pay 500 whatever three four for a painting i just found two i'm gonna see if it work i think it will work and then i just went into marshall's and found these beautiful look at this color oh my goodness this is so pretty they were 12.99 three stems on the thing so i bought two of them i'm excited now i'm actually gonna go to starbucks and get one of their fall drinks protecting my peace for so long a little too good now I'm starbucks in hand i got the pumpkin spice latte no whipped cream almond milk two pumps of the pumpkin spice syrup because them, them normally put four in it so i asked the guy <coughs> how much syrup do you normally put in it he said four i'm like mm, can we just make it two please too sweet too sweet so let's go i want to stop at cb2 i want to go in there to see what it's all about Solo, watch your reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no I don't know How does everybody has to let go of the ego? go Alright, so I'm back home And uh, it's 5 o'clock <laughs> 5.10 I came in probably 10 minutes ago Sorry, I messed up, not sure But I had on my little jacket Uh, Crate and Barrel outlet cb2 it's kind of like a, just a giant warehouse that they have i've never been to one before if you've been there you know it's like a giant warehouse where they have uh, furniture and stuff discounted furniture but honestly speaking them said the furniture discount but still three thousand dollars for a couch it's a no <laughs> but i think they were having an extra 20 percent off or something today i did find a runner for my table that has some pumpkin on the side that was clearance got these two vases as well i'm about to go eat something because i'm super hungry i did buy a couple of things for my kitchen counter because i'm gonna switch up my kitchen counter i'm a little bit over my kitchen counter how it's there so i did pick up a couple pieces for that so when i'm doing starting my fall i'll put them on but there there are things that is going to always be there and interchange because me now i just buy pure fall you know things like that so i'm going to change that up a little bit yeah i'll see you guys good morning saturday it's 10 o'clock in the morning and i am about to deep clean my kitchen and decorate for fall i just dropped my camera on the kitchen floor i was trying to set it up on my tripod this little thing goes inside of my tripod underneath the camera and then it fell now the lens is <laughs> half not closing the part where the lord may drop everything the part where the sim card is supposed to be held 
it at one point it, it said no no sim card the screw is stuck in the back of the camera so i can't even take the screw out so that we can re-screw the part that's broken off of it on it says yeah that's i, I eat that for that somebody have to go take this down and try to get this screw out so i duct taped it up okay me duct tape it up because the show must go on me need the part to flip up because it, it i made sure that it's working because i don't want to continue to vlog if it's not working but i popped up the sim card put it back in tested it it is working uh yeah let's begin because i don't want to be doing this all day and i have a feeling that i will be doing this all day my fridge is dirty it's atrocious and everything have to come out all right let's do this The fridge is dirty. These are all the stuff I just pulled out of the fridge. I'm just gonna go through and make sure nothing is expired. I made this the other day. I'm gonna drink this right now. This is my green juice. That is expired. It's not, I just made it. <laughs> no, this expired. Ju? No man. Does this say August 24, 2022? You know how long this in my fridge? this is horrible that hurts to balance organic weight but this is really good i'm actually gonna buy another one i'm not gonna pull everything out of the freezer uh only just brought in the igloo so whatever meat that i want to save i'm just gonna put in the igloo some of the meat in my freezer one dasher as well because true transparency a long time in a clean average year i'm not even gonna lie on sugar coat a long time in a clean and I said, you know what, if I, I'm gonna decorate for fall and do all this, I need to just deep clean and do everything. Money out. Yeah, go eat. <laughs> How long has this been in this fridge? What? I brought fruit here. Should we throw this away? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It says June. Best before June 2021. <laughs> Guess what it is? Guess what it is? Oni, what is this? I don't know. The Aki where your uncle give it from Florida. Oh, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so, we know I'm gonna wrap up with Aki. Even when you come from Jamaica and you bring up Aki, you like parboil it. There's a date on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 2021! <laughs> no, there 11 30 and this is more extensive than i thought i pulled everything out i have my little this is the bottom of the fridge <laughs> on the floor that i'm trying to clean out i sprayed it down with dawn and everything it's i sign you need to clean out your fridge no wait this long <laughs> this is horrible i'm embarrassed that's i've been showing the dirtiest part because mm -mm, no baby not on the internet cut this water ew nasty I'm gonna change this water out <laughs> Tired is an understatement, okay? 
Hold well, on, let me turn out the radio. Mm -mm. That's how I'm gonna clean. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Baby, it is now 2.41. Let me put this on this tripod. I was trying to vlog and show me cleaning and stuff, but honestly, it did a slow me down. <laughs> move the camera here move the camera there but i cleaned the stove cleaned the cupboards gave it a good wipe down and my fridge is now brand new i bought this thing let me show you guys i had bought this thing. i think i bought it from tj max or one of marshall's this thing works really well on your stainless steel um outside of your refrigerator in your stove i use this to polish the front it works really really good almost three o'clock i'm really need to eat something i'm really hungry i'm gonna go downstairs though grab my tote see what's in it and then just trying to pull stuff out let me show them the fridge because i'm proud of my fridge hallelujah <laughs> listen you have a clean the fridge and you just say, no sir, the fridge needs to stay like this. The fridge is nice and clean and smell good. This freezer is nice and clean and pretty organized. Look at me, look at me go. guys this is actually what i have so far what i did was i put this other little plant that i had in my stash in the back it's kind of low so i have it sitting up on top of something but i probably need to high it up a little bit more this actually i actually like this it's cute i removed my other spoons that i have because uh, i didn't like the color of the spoons these spoons <laughs> so i'm gonna take them out i'm gonna get some more wooden spoon that color to put in there i am gonna leave my gray silicone spoons in there but yeah i think it's cute i just need another bowl that match that color of the spoon to put back right here where i have all my um fruits and stuff that i keep right there so yeah i really i think it's simple and it's cute um another thing is these are new this is from the brand figment from target this is what i have for the centerpiece in on the island ignore all of that I have all the stuff from over there in my tote that i'm kind of going through to see what i have but i think that's really cute and i really like this simple i picked this up yesterday in tj maxx i just need to take the tag off of the top of it was seven bucks i really don't like that there's a dog on top of this so mega just i need to just get rid of this top and just do do that it's almost five o'clock and um, i think i'm done and over this i need to go take a shower go return a couple of things that i need to return so this is what my coffee station currently look like the only thing i feel like this this and this is a bit much i probably need just a plaque or something that says uh, i don't know i think it's drowning and it's a little bit much but the rest of it is is it's cute it's fine how cute is this little cup from target i found these yesterday because i am out of my syrup and i'm like oh i'll try these how much did i pay for these 7.99 i hope they're not terrible they're salt salt to caramel cinnamon dolce and vanilla i honestly want to move my ember cup from right there and put some something there that i put my sugar my my syrups in i don't even really use that cup like that so i need to move move it i'm about to go back to crate and barrel because i bought these two vases in there yesterday these two vases and i think i'm gonna return them i was gonna 
I bought them because I was gonna use them on my dining room table. My dining room table, I have a love-hate relationship with it because I don't like the color of it, but I like the style. I'm gonna get rid of it. I've been kind of saying this for years, and I, I've, look, I've been looking at one for a very long time, and I just haven't bought the bullet. I think I'm just gonna buy it. It's just, do what makes your heart happy, okay? <laughs> so, I was gonna put that on the dining table, but I, I found, hold on. I went downstairs in my stash and I found that I had bought this. This is also from Target. <laughs> I have this and then I have uh, one that's a different size and it's black. And I'm going to mix and match them because I I think it looks cute. So yeah, may I care about them then give my money. How much did I even pay for these? I probably paid $50 for both of those, honestly. $45. Okay. $45 and some change, whatever. May I go about for my money and these i use one bunch of this up front on my front tape um thing i don't normally do too much up there and i'm gonna use this in this on the dining room table so cute it's coming together i like it i like it you know do what makes you happy i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because the vlog is too long now so we're gonna end it here and um i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for watching Bye, y'all.